Hey guys, today we're going to be comparing clutches. I just received a new one in the mail, so we're going to go ahead and compare the two. Okay guys, so first let's look at the driven unit. Here's the old one, it's quite a bit rusted, it has a whole bunch of belt on it. And if you guys can see, I'm not sure, there's a lot of nicks and scratches which will cause a premature belt wear on the unit. And then right here you have this sliding piece that does not slide at all, hardly. It should slide back and forth pushing this, this, uh, these rollers back and forth right here. But there's the pin in the, on the inside right here that goes back and forth as well as the rollers are quite a bit worn and it's very dirty, obviously. And as you can see it's a, quite a bit of pain to get on. There are my hands after that. So looking at the new clutch, we can see that it's almost polished smooth, except for a couple of scratches probably from manufacturing, you know, brand new, nice and clean. As well as the pin that came removed from the unit, you can place that right in, and it moves very freely. Like as well as the rollers being brand new. There you go. So obviously you're gonna want this rather than. Something like this. So now let's look at the two belts. Here is the old belt, which uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but has a rather silvery tinge to the uh, walls of the belt. Whereas this one's just brand new, you know, standard belt. The thing is, is that you can see where a lot of the fibers collected within the within the belt from being wore down by the clutch dust that uh, came from clutch failure. Finally, we can look at the, the actual clutch assembly and bell. So, looking at this bell, it, I can see that it has been balanced by the two stamps within. And it's a fairly uh, stock bell, nothing too fancy, just a uh, you know, pretty much simple, what comes on your common bill. And here's your, your secondary sheath with your cooling fins on the rear. You have your clutch pads and your springs should be inside, boom, where, the, um, where each set of clutch pads is connected right here. And then you have a, a, a spring connected to here to the clutch pad arm which I cannot move outward because of how strong the springs are and as you can see on the inside there is a, a spring as well as well as new bearings and uh, a new uh, sealed bearing on this side and a unsealed needle bearing on this side Now, let's compare bells. So although you'll, although you'll see that these bells are a little bit different, you can see why this bell is bad and this bell is good. So first of all, you guys can see the blue from of how hot this, this bell actually became from where and uh, uh, if you guys look on the inside, I'm not sure there's a little bit of light. There you can see how the this bell is completely smooth. Smooth like glazed is the proper term. It's a glazed bell, which causes clutch slip and all that good stuff that comes with, with age. And as you can see, it's balanced because it has a stamp on the inside as well. But it's also... 
you can see where the extreme heat just completely destroyed it and then made a completely smooth glassy like surface on the inside versus the new bill having a nice just regular you know bell look Now looking at the point of failure in each component of this older clutch is, is tough. Let me grab a rag for this because this is fairly dirty. But as we can see, here are your clutch arms and there's your spring. As you can see where it would mount, normally I don't want to turn this clutch sideways, but the pin that it would mount on right here um, has been completely destroyed right there. And that is the case for all three arms. Making sure that these clutch arms never work again. And although this uh, could be used um, if we replace this uh, clutch pad housing as well as the clutch pads, arms, and all this good stuff, we could reuse the sheath. I chose to just uh, go ahead and go with the new housing or sheath and housing setup. So, this is how you know if your clutch is bad, guys. You know, it's like this get a new clutch. If not, then there's all the crap that just came out. If you have pieces like this in your clutch, you should probably get a new clutch. But other than that, guys, this video is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my destroyed and brand new clutch. I'll see you guys next time when I'm installing the new clutch, and we'll see if we can take the go-kart for a ride. Uh, thank you for watching.